I'm Christine Allen, a Senior Project Officer at Greening Australia and I've been managing the Three Rivers Initiative uh, funded by Alcoa Foundation. We're in our second year now of the project and it's been a very busy year indeed in 2019. One of our big projects this year was working on a brush log installation at the George Brook Reserve on the Murray River. So this was a great collaboration between the Shire of Murray, Greening Australia and the Binjarra Midars. My name is Theo Kering. I'm the owner of a traditional dance group in the Pinjarra area, we're called Binjarra Midas. Doing what we're doing and being a part of this process is not only healing for each one of these kids and myself to take part in it, but it's also a way of healing country. Healing country is a way of not only significantly help us traditionally, but also help restore some pride not only in ourselves or the way we look after our area, but for the next generation to be able to look up to and something to strive for. We get about 20, 25 to 30 sticks in each bundle. Try to keep it nice and formatted so it's about the same shape of each bundle. And then after we've done that, we'll cart them out to the riverways where we'll start the slow process of making a fence, so to speak. And we spent a week uh, building that wall, uh, which will contribute to slowing erosion around that river bend and upskilling the group of people who hadn't built a wall like that before. So it was a wonderful collaboration. Hi, I'm David Bolt, the Shire President for the Shire of Murray. I'm here at the beautiful Murray River, very important and historic part of the river. The environment in the Murray Shire is critical for our future and we're working together very hard to make sure that it's here for not only this generation, but future generations to come. Another project we've been involved in is the Lowlands project on the Serpentine River. And it's a great example of an intact reserve um, in the middle of a very cleared area of the Peel Harvey. So we worked with the Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions to uh, revegetate some of that Serpentine River area. And it is also a refuge for the quoll. Hi. We're students from Balbarva Secondary College. We've been learning about uh, planting sedges. We've planted a couple hundred sedges around here today and marked them and watered them. We've also been learning about the river system that's down here. Um, we are here focusing on our certificate two in conservation and land management. The planet as a whole and is right. losing resources. If we and don't like, do what we're doing now, like planting and like, helping animal species, then they're not going to be around for much longer. Hi, my name's Julia Cullity and um, I work for the Urban Nature Program at um, Parks and Wildlife Service. What we found, I think it was in 2017, and the last time we found them was in the year 2000, was Chudich or the Western Quoll. And it shows that there's a connection, the Serpentine River is still connecting the hills where the major populations are back down onto the Swan Coastal Plain and some of these areas that have been, um, you know, surrounded by agriculture for, for years and years and years. Preparing vegetation, so vegetation that grows along the river, is really, really important for sustaining aquatic ecosystems and particularly fish and crayfish populations. The roots holds the banks together, which helps to prevent erosion. Uh, all our native freshwater fish are carnivores and they rely on um, insects and crustaceans in the water to eat. And when you've got healthy riparian zones, that tends to provide more food as well. But once those trees get in there, the habitat is imperative for the fish to have. Freshwater crayfish, including the mighty marron, um, really need logs to hide in and so do some of our nocturnal species. Revegetation uh, through the Three Rivers initiative is something that we can't do by ourselves at Greening Australia. And we'd like to thank all of our organisations, as well as all those schools and the public that have come along in uh, their hundreds this year. So we'd like to thank all of those people and also those land management uh, stakeholders. Finally, we'd like to thank Alcoa Foundation for this second year of funding. And without this funding, we wouldn't be able to do the scale of the projects that is happening at the moment.